Hey guys, how are we doing today? Today I'm going to show you we are going to use our We Are Memory Keepers foil quill pen on the new magnetic mac that I just made to foil on, guess what? Acetate. This is going to be awesome. So we're going to go on into design space. And we are going to find a cool design to, guess what, design for the acetate card. So this is going to be awesome. So I'm going to go press new project. And then I'm going to stroll into the images. And I think I want to, okay, let me see. If I just write draw, what things come up that are draw. So I hope everyone's doing really good. Yep, everything came up that's drawn. Okay, so then you just want to, let me make them a little bit bigger. You just want to go through them and see. I don't have Cricut Design Space, but guys, if you do, one of these other patterns will be beautiful to use. Okay, guys? But I'm going to use what I have. And if I filter, I could put. And then everything that I own will be right here. So let's go and start creating the card. So let's see what type of images we can use. So I have been trying to think of so much things that I can do, guys, just so I could show you different things. And I am so happy. I'm back in my craft room. This is so awesome. Okay, let me keep on strolling down because I know we got some really good ones up in here. And I cannot believe that I miss Christmas in July. So. So what I want to actually do here is make a full card base in the front of the card. And then to do that, you want to. Uh, Trying to find a pattern that's going to fill up the whole entire frame of your card base. But if you don't do that, you could do just the whole design also. And you know, I think I'm going to do this design. This design right here, this decorative background draw design, it looks really good. So I'm going to try that. So I'm going to bring that in. Then I'm going to size this as a size of a card. So I'm going to put 4.25 and then I'm going to unlock my ratio button and I'm going to put 550 because that's the average card size. Okay. That looks good. And it has a corner, but what I want to do, I want to add a box around it. So what I think I'm going to make this a little tad bit smaller by a quarter inch smaller. And then I'm going to put this 25. Okay. Then I'm going to take a box. And I want to have an outline of the box. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to get another box. And I think I'm going to do, in this box right here, is four. Um, lock the ratio by 5.25. No, that's too big. 
5.25. Then we're going to add this one, 4.25. Unlock the ratio button by 550. And then I'm going to add this into the middle of this. Grab both of them and align them up into the middle. Okay, guys, center horizontal, and that's good, and center full, okay? So then you want to take both those images and you want to slice, right? So there goes that. Then you want to take this and put this over. your image and i think it looks good just like that and then you got want to join these two together and attach okay oh what did it do that for okay hold on a second let's go back i might have overlapped something Okay, is this five point twenty five and this is five fifty? So I got that right. And this is four twenty five. Yeah, unless. Oh, that's funny. Okay, so let's shorten this side up just a tad bit. So let's go five. And then I'm going to add this over it. And I think it looks good right there. Then for some reason, it seems like it's, okay, right there. So then I'm going to take this, and I'm going to add this to the middle. Okay, so then I'm just going to attach that, and let's see what that does. Okay, so there we go. So now what I want to do is I'm going to take you guys over to the Cricut and I'm going to show you how to use your foil coil pin designing on acetate. Okay guys, so here we go. I end up getting a pattern out of here. We have a couple of sheets and I think... I'm going to use purple. Now, guys, you can use a coupon in Michael's, no, in Joanne's for your foil quill and your and your sheets of foil, okay? So don't forget that whenever you see a 60% off coupon, go grab some, okay, guys? It does amazing work. And it also works if you don't have a foil quill pen, you could use it and put some tape on it and it'll peel right off. So there goes my sheet of foil quill. And I think this is the size that I need. No, I think I'm going to make a bigger piece. So I also went on to AliExpress. And in AliExpress, they have the same rolls. The same exact rolls that you buy. And pay $3.99 for. Same exact rows. Okay. For, I paid $1.47 on AliExpress free shipping. And these I bought in the Expo. And they're all right. So I tested them out. And these right here work wonderful. So I have that. So let me see if I have purple. And that's not going to be big and nice, big in that size either. See, this is the purple I got, and this is the purple that I picked up. It's the same, almost same, I mean, exactly the same color purple, guys. So, I think I'm going to get my bigger foil. 
So let me do that really quick. Okay, so here goes the big ones. I end up using a uh, sixty percent of coupon to get this, so I only paid four dollars a box for it. And it sure beats ten dollars, guys. So if you can save some money, save some money. So now I just want to go and take this and cut a bigger piece off. I'm gonna put this on the side. I'm going to bring, where's my ruler at? My exacto knife. And my ruler. So I definitely want to cut a bigger piece than what it is. So I think that's wide enough. So that's one, two, three, four, five. So I'll cut six inches. And I'm not going to use the whole thing, guys. Okay. I'm going to put this right here. Lining it up with my grit line, and then I'm going to use my exacto knife And I'm just going to cut away And I'm going to put this back in here and whatever's left save it guys because it works for a lot of different things so now I want to bring my metallic fat back in So these are the acetate sheets the clear sheets that I'm using this is from American craft I got this out of uh, Tuesday morning, and they work perfect, guys. So, I have my magnetic ma sheets, and here goes my acetate. This is a 6x6, six six, and I'm putting it at the 3-inch mark. So, I can remember I want to put my design at the 3-inch mark, okay, guys? So I'm going to put this right down here, and I'm going to put these on the side. But before I do that, I definitely want to put my foil down. So you just want to have your foil right over it. So I'm going to move this on the side. I want to add my foil. I want to make sure that the acetate is right there where the grid line is at. Then I'm going to add my foil. And what's so good about the, having the magnetic mat and no tape is that you won't, you will not get no foil on your cutting mat. That looks good right there. And then I want to use another one just to secure the top of it, making sure nothing moves. Okay. So now I'm going to take you to the Cricut mat, I mean the Cricut machine, and we're going to start decorating. Okay, guys, it's all done. Now, let's see the results. It's looking pretty good. I already see the design. So, let's unload the mat. Bring this over to my desk. And let me, guys, put you back on my tripod. Okay, sorry about that. 
and bring you guys just a tad bit down okay so now you just want to take your magnets off if you could pick them up of course okay so now let's see how it foiled oh boy do you guys see anything I don't see anything nothing whatsoever so hmm let's see oh oh okay guys I think I see it you just had to come closer so let me get a black sheet of paper because I think the black will show it off a little bit more piece of paper and oh my god guys look at how gorgeous this came out can you act I'm out of focus why am I out of focus oh okay let me see if I could open up my shade and not have the up light on okay Open you guys up a little bit and let's see if you can actually see it now. Oh yes, look at that. Wow guys, look at how gorgeous that is. And it does not rub off at all guys. At all. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to cut this baby up. And I made it longer on this side for a reason. Because I'm going to overlap this over a piece of cardstock. So, let me cut the sides off. Wow. And then, what I'm going to do with this part up here, is I'm going to crease it so I can use it. I'm gonna crease it right here. But let me turn it the other way. Wow. So there goes my crease. That is so cool. And then you can overlap it on your piece of cardstock as an overlay. You can use uh, double sided tape. And here goes the double sided tape. So I'm gonna move this out on the side. Fold this over and with the double sided tape you want to add some tape to the edge right there and then cut off whatever's extra and make sure it's on there Then I want to bring my cutter in and I just want to cut a piece of cardstock that is the same width of my cardstock. And then Then you want to take your tape off, bring your double sided tape, and 
line this up and fold it. And look at how cool. that looks okay guys and then you can attach this to a card base you know you could cut this down a little bit low you don't have to have the image this big because if you're gonna do this you want to have the image a little bit smaller okay so then it'll fit on top of the layer card and then this will fit on top of uh, another card and it'll be a card base, okay guys? So there goes my project for the We Are Memory Keeper 4 pin. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I love this. And there's so many, so many, so many other designs on Design Space. And you can use any, any shape that's on there. Just put it on the drawer feature and it will draw it out for you. So thank you so much for watching guys. My God, that pattern is so gorgeous. And then in the back, it's kind of silver. So like, let's say um, if you're short of silver and just reverse the image the way you want and you can do this and it'll be on silver. So guys, thank you so much for watching. Talk to you soon. Bye now.